Well, hello, hello, hello from underneath the sea, from a familiar looking friend from a movie I love. I even painted one. Yes. When I draw with crayons, I love to use watercolors to add um, color. Um, this drawing is easy enough to make with a few steps. Um, I like the shape of this fish because it reminds me of the shape of a shoe almost. Um, these, uh, this plant is called um, a sea anemone. Actually, I think it's a living creature, but it, um, it is partners with the clownfish here. The clownfish provides its shelter, and um, I think uh, the sea anemone provides uh, maybe food for this, this creature. Gosh, I need to check my facts. But anyway... The main thing I'm focusing on today is how to draw this. So I want to show you how. The very first thing that I do is I'm going to take a few minutes to add the sea anemone. It's that water current that's making it slant sideways. So I'm going to add some that are shorter in the front and some that are coming up behind it longer and add lots and lots like in the foreground in front of this these will be in front of our friend the fish yes the um, current is making uh, these slant and almost like it's blowing in the wind because the current of the water is moving it making it move around Okay, I'm going to stop now and start adding my fish right about here. And then I will go back and fill in more of the anemone. So starting right here, I'm going to go up and then curve down right about here and make the body come back. The tail goes up a little bit and then curves down again. All right, um, this part is going to be kind of already tucked under uh, behind the plant, so I just keep it going and continue as it comes out on this side and make it come over and up. So that's pretty much the shape of the fish. Looks pretty decent. Um, next, I will add a few um, details like the mouth. The mouth curves up and goes down and almost looks like a frown, but there's a little curl on the end to make it look a little more friendly. I'm going to add a second line that curves and comes down and connects right there. Um, the chin, <laughs> I'll just add a little curve right there for the bottom lip of the fish and sort of a little chin area right there. I put those little marks there. It looks like a chin. Around the face there is a white stripe. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the stripe. So I make two lines that are very similar, close together, a little wider at the bottom here. This will be a white stripe that is around the, the, the face. The eye goes here. In fact, there looks like it's sort of an eyelid over that eye, so I just add a little curve right there inside of that circle I made for the fish's eye. Okay, the next stripe, because there's orange, white, orange, white, I'm going to make this stripe going in the opposite direction and just a little thinner. And right Beside this stripe, coming away from this stripe, will be a little fin on the side that goes up, curves down, and comes back and touches that line. And it has a white stripe right on the end, so there we go. I just added it. Okay, further along um, the body here is another white stripe, so two lines that are similar right alongside there and near the tail I'll add another stripe with two lines really close together 
Um, along the top of this tail at the very back, there's a little black area. So I just draw a line that curves to show this is black and this will be orange. And the last few things that we need to do for the fish is add two fins on top. This one, the one in the front, starts right here by the white stripe and goes past the second white stripe. So start at the first white, white stripe, curve up, and then gradually curve down behind the white one. Yes. So you start at the first white one, go up and curve, and gradually stop right there behind the second white one. And there's a little bit of black on the top of this one, so add that. Good. Uh, next, one more fin, and it starts just a little ways behind this one. It curves up, and then the curve that comes down is just, it's beautiful. This curves down right there, right before you get in good with the tail. And, of course, this area has a little black part, so we leave that on there. Now, it, you know, yours might not look exactly like mine, but, hey, a clownfish has stripes, Two dorsal fins, a little fin on the side here, and a cool tail. Let's just do it. Uh, the sea anemone has um, parts that are behind this fish, and so I'm um, adding some lines here to suggest that uh, he is in front of these here, so you can't see the tips of them. I've seen some great photographs of these clownfish in front of sea anemones, um, inside of sea anemones, and some of the anemones are just unbelievably beautiful. I would love to live there. It, they look very soft and cozy, so I'm just adding a few more, and a few more here, make some tall ones, and short and tall, and in between. Okay. And then make some even behind this clownfish. You know, clownfish don't tell jokes, and they aren't funny, but they are beautiful. Maybe I'll add a few more back here to show that he is nestled cozy inside his underwater home. Make some lean a little bit and just keep it interest, interesting. Okay. So what I'd do next would be to uh, paint this, to give it some color, to... Um, when I looked at the first one that I did, I realized, wow, I used pretty much the secondary colors with green, orange, and purple. I add a little blue so it wouldn't look too weird in the water, but I wanted the water to be darker than the blue that comes with a student set of watercolors. Um, so I added some purple to make it darker. I think black would have been too harsh. And I added a little yellow in here with the green to lighten it and give it just more, more interest, make it more look more interesting. And I had fun. That's the main thing. Have fun, um, have the experience of drawing something new, and then paint it and see how see how that goes. Just art is an adventure. Just see where it takes you. So, I'll see you next time. And um, I enjoyed you. And from my clownfish, I'd like to say bloop bloop bloop, <laughs> and goodbye. See you next time.